In this lecture, I'll walk you through how to conditionally format reports. And if you want to follow along, I'm using the top 10 biggest orders report inside the Northwind database. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to set up three different kinds of conditional formatting. First, I'll set up conditional formatting on the sales field that's going to highlight or bring attention to any sales that are under $2,000. But besides highlighting the sales amount field, I also want to highlight the company's name as well. So any orders under $2,000 here will be highlighted. Next, I'm going to take the sales amount field and I'm going to add data bars. So the order with the highest sales amount is going to have the longest data bar and the order with the lowest sales amount on this report will have the smallest data bar. Okay, so to begin, you either need to be in layout view or design view for this report. And I'm going to first click on one of the fields here for sales amount. It doesn't matter which one. And in my report layout tools on the ribbon, I want to make sure that I'm in the format tab. And on the right hand side, there's conditional formatting. I'll go ahead and give that a click. See my formatting is set for sales amount. I'll click on new rule. And the first rule that I'm going to create is to, again, highlight all of the sales that are under $2,000. So I'm going to be checking for values in the current record, and that's highlighted right up there at the top. Now down here at the bottom, it says format only sales where the field value is, and I'm going to change this to less than or equal to. I'll type in 2,000. I'm going to turn it red and make it bold. All right, I'll go ahead and click on OK and OK. So you can see here, because I'm in layout view, all of my sales under 2000 are red and bold. Now if you're in design view, you're going to have to go to print preview to see those changes. Alright, so besides the sales amount being red and bold, I also want the company name to show up as red and bold as well. So again, I'll click on any one of my company names here. I'll go to conditional formatting, create a new rule, and this time I can't actually say where the field value is less than 2000 because here I'm working with text, I'm working with the company name. So I have to change it. It's not this field value, it's the sales amount field value that I want to look for. So I'm going to change it from field value is to expression is. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side and click on my build button. And I want to say here where sales amount is less than 2000. So here in my expression categories, I'm going to come down and click on sales amount and just give that a double click and that's going to add it to my expression builder up here at the top. And now I'll type in less than 2000. All right, I'll go ahead and click on OK. And again, change that to red and bold. Click on OK one more time and OK. And there you go. So here I set conditional formatting on one field based off of the information in another. All right, last thing I want to do here is I want to go back to the sales amount field and I want to add in my data bars. So it's going to kind of look like a little graph for me, which is nice. I want to have the orders with the highest sales amount have the longest data bar and the orders with the smallest sales amount have the shortest data bar. So I'll click on my sales amount field, again, any one, head up to conditional formatting, create a new rule, and this time I want to compare to other records. The shortest bar will be the lowest value, and the longest bar will be the highest value. If I wanted to, I can even change the color. OK, I'll click on OK, and OK, and let me go ahead and take a look at this in preview. And there we are. It looks good. So you can see here how conditionally formatting your reports gives you a quick way to eye your report and evaluate what's going on.